I think I also keep calling the lesson 2.3. It's actually lesson 2.4. Sorry. Oh, so many confusing things. I'm such a confusing. Uh, anyway. Um, all right. Let's try this again. So the modeling tool looks like da, 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 this right here. Um, and, uh, you know, just looking at it right away, it, it, it could look confusing. Like, what am I supposed to do here? But let's, let's walk through it. So the goal, again, show how temperature caused different amounts of rain in Gale Town. So we need to model Storm 1 or Storm 2 and Storm 3. And we have the data table in Amplify. Label which one you're doing right here. Are you doing Storm 2 or are you doing Storm 3? We have to do both. So you can do either one first. It doesn't matter. Um, and look, look, look. Uh, this is before the storm, okay, and this is after the storm. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of during the storm, really. Um, the troposphere temperature is medium, okay, so that's given to us already. The amount of surface water is already shown down here. Uh, the water vapor is high, so we're given a total, uh, a high water vapor. Now, right here for the parcel temperature, um, I think your only options are low, medium, high, very high. Let's take a look at our Ah, temperature, uh, oh, very low, low, medium, high, and very high. All right, well, what does it tell us in our data table for storm two? Storm two, the highest temperature before the storm, it says warm. So if you're doing storm two, you would put warm right here for the parcel temperature, okay? Now, for the troposphere temperature, remember, as you go higher in the troposphere, what happens to the temperature? It starts to decrease. So I would probably put low uh, in this box, and then I would probably put uh, uh, very low in this box. How high is that air parcel actually going to rise? Well, let's find out. Um, so the parcel temperature right here, whatever you put over here, and I think it said what, warm? Start off with warm here, and then uh, as that air parcel rises in the atmosphere, it is also decreasing in temperature, right? Um, in liquid water, will be increasing because the cooler that air parcel gets, the more condensation that's happening. So the water vapor content, it's changing from water vapor to liquid water, okay? So um, <clears throat> again, as it increases, more of that water vapor becomes liquid water. Um, all right, I, I think that's really all of the things that we need to uh, put on our modeling tool. Uh, let's take a look at our key. Oh, energy transfer, sorry, energy transfer. Let's. Let's look at the directions. Show the temperature, we did that. Show the amount and direction of energy transfer. So yes, please show me energy transfer. Uh, show the parcel temperature after the parcel has stopped rising. Show the amount of liquid water after the air parcel has stopped rising. And show the amount of condensation rain after the air parcel has stopped rising, okay? So uh, for storm two, uh, oh, yeah, for storm two, you're going to have a, a lot of rain, right? And then for storm three, uh, when you model storm three, you're gonna show how there's a lot more rain uh, for storm three, okay? So uh, go ahead and uh, work on your modeling tool, add all those things, and then come on back to me. All right, so the next thing that we're doing, click on button number two down here. Uh, button number two, there's just a couple questions over here. It says, examine your models for storm two and three and compare how much uh, the air parcel changed temperature. Answer the questions below. Which storm had the greater change in temperature? So from the starting temperature to the final temperature, which one changed the most? Storm two or storm three? And then what explains the greater temperature change? Is there more surface water? Well, probably not. Um, surrounding air temperature at the surface was different. Surrounding air temperature at the surface seem to be the same for each one. The air parcel lost more energy. Uh, I'm not going to give you the answer, but that one sounds pretty good. Um, the air parcel lost more energy. Uh, go answer these, <clears throat> and then let's talk about the homework really quick. So the homework, you're doing a little bit of writing. Um, it says, use the information you've learned in this chapter, along with the new data you received from Dr. Emerson, as evidence to explain to the people of Galetown how warmer temperatures are affecting the amount of rain Gale Town is experiencing, okay? So down here, use these words, use all these, try try to use all these words, because the, if you can use all these words, that just shows that you are really understanding um, what is going on in this uh, unit. Uh, so again, use the data you were given today about Gale Town storms, especially about storms two and three, and information you have learned in this chapter to write a short argument supporting the claim, 
warmer weather caused Galetown to have more severe storms. You may use the words from the word bank above to help you with your argument, okay? So let's talk about that really quick. Warmer weather caused Gale to Galetown to have more severe storms. Did it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the warmer the weather, the more severe the storms are gonna be. And why is that again? Okay, so that air parcel, it heats up a lot. That air parcel has a lot more energy, okay? Even if it has the same amount of water vapor as the other air parcels, Okay, but that really, really hot one, what's it gonna do? It's gonna rise higher in the troposphere and there's gonna be a lot more uh, cooling that happens, okay? Because it starts off hotter and then it's gonna end up even colder than the uh, air parcel that rises just a little bit in the atmosphere. So there's a much, much, much bigger amount of energy transfer, a much, much bigger temperature change. What that's gonna do is that's going to cause a lot more condensation. So the more that air parcel cools, the more condensation happens. The more condensation happens, the more, uh, uh, the more rain that you're going to get. Okay. So that's really what's happening, uh, basically. Um, so tr again, try to explain um, that concept using as many of these words as you possibly can. And uh, that's your homework. And that's your homework. So Whew. All right. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. You can email me. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.